So today I'm going to look into how to make a better sleeve for the handpiece. I'm cleaning inside just to show you that the diameter of the tube is not the, the same as the collet here. So how to get uh, this piece to fit inside the tube? I prepared the other side here just to show how it is. It's like a snug fit and it's hard to remove with your hand. We're going to go to up to this point here just to show you how to prepare it. It's like a simple way, it's not perfect and it's not going to be amazing. But it's going to be good enough for you to have something that is better than the traditional uh, KNS tube here. The KNS tube is kind of good to fit the collet, but it has some play inside. So uh, in the tip, when we are talking about the movement on the collet itself, it's not that relevant. But when we talk about the tip of the, the grazer, then it's a lot to take into consideration since we are talking about um, the uh, one tenth of a millimeter. So when you put the handpiece, the tip will move a lot here. I hope you can see it from the, the screen. And when we are talking about a collet that is already snug enough, like this one, you won't see this kind of, of movement because it's super fixed inside. So it's even sometimes hard to remove. I can get some too because I don't want to get hurt here. So if you're going to try to do this, I would recommend you to get like a, it could be a micro motor or a flex shaft. I'm using a 360 grit sandpaper here. You were supposed to use water with this, but I don't have water here. I don't have a handpiece that can withstand the water. So, but I'm going to perform the basic. You were going to try to put this as parallel as possible inside the tube and you're going to grind it inside so if you look here the range of the motion of the sandpaper is way greater than the collet itself so the collet here goes up to here and the sandpaper go up to there why because we're still going to grind a bit more we're going to cut this part just to make this pretty little piece here there will be the final result of what we are doing so this piece here keeps it in place and it's a snug fit so you won't feel a movement inside of it there's still some space left here for the plunger to move so this tube, the, this breast tube here is a, uh, it's a gauge 16, 3 8 of an inch. I don't like too much the Imperial system, but since everything from GRS, uh, the colors from GRS are measured in the Imperial system, we have to go with it. So let's, let's skip to, skip the chase and get straight to the point here. So this does not fit. We are going to try to rotate the tube as much as possible. So use mask, use eye protection. Rotate the tube con continuously is better to have several passes because you will avoid getting some valleys or getting a novel shape. It's going to be impossible for you to get a perfect circle. But at least you are going to get as close as possible to that. So every time we're doing it, you want to clean inside. 
because the dust can be enough to kind of give the sensation that, that we it's too small but it could be enough to grind too much so you can see that now it enters a bit so in the front is still there's there's still something to take into consideration so now you can see the reflection here i made a mark just to realize uh, to count the rotations and not get one third of a of a turn more than enough so we, i look again If you have a snug finish, that is enough. I know that the the collet should move inside, but then it's good for you to get another great sandpaper. don't forget to wear a mask okay okay it's going up to the end i know that it's working because i could hear the sound of the grains of the brass so maybe it's just dirty inside just just for reference here i'm going to show how much brass we are grinding and why you should wear a mask here you don't want this in your lungs Yes, good enough. See, we are still having some gaps here, but we are going to finalize this with another grit of sandpaper. paper. Now I'm going to change from a 360 grit sandpaper paper to a 600 grit. It's going to be smoother inside. And it takes a bit longer for us to to grind but it's going to give a movement of the plunger and also the collet Perfect. Now you can see there is the gap. It's kind of almost negligible. And that's okay because we are still going to grind on the sides here. And there will be some, we're going to go down 2.4 millimeters, 2.54 millimeters. And also get a 2.32 millimeter millimeter millimeters with here so this way we could get the the color to be inside and also it won't rotate okay i'm going to get the next steps and and then this is what you are supposed to do so now what are we going to do we're going to look into the dimensions of the GRS uh, quick change the difference from what they do and what we are trying to do is they have a super snug finish uh, super snug fits here to not allow a single movement when you're engraving a push hand engraving or if you're using another tool inside and that's what we are, do not want but we still want the dimensions from the outside to fit as precisely in this area so after taking some measurements, I could see that it's 2.3 millimeter wide 
and 2.54 millimeters long you can approximate it if you want to and that's what we're going to try to draw here so let's go for the first measurement the 2.54 and then we can score the whole surface here Let's try to make it as close as possible. So we have all around the tube. We can still see the mark here that I used to count the rotation. And for my project, I'm getting 26 millimeters in the whole tube. And that's what I'm going to do. It's called 26 millimeters here on the tube. All the drawings can be found on, on the GitHub page, if you want to. Is this the best way of doing it? Eh, not, not really. A lathe or a CNC would be better. But since I don't want any of them, you could just get a, a reamer and try to get a one fourth of an inch here inside and it would be only one pass and it, it would be done and now we're going for the 2.3 for the tip this is going to be super shady what i'm going to try to do i'm going to try to do a single movement from here to the side to outside to get a line as straight as possible maybe it's not that easy that's why i like keeping the whole tube in place and not try to work in a, a small section cut here and try to draw it I like to work this part cut then go for the next one so here we go so you can see that it's drilled right now so how can I do this as close as possible? What I like to do is get the whole tube. You can come with your saw here and then you cut up to the, the surface here. And then you rotate the tube. And then you try to stop here on this, uh, this line. So after that, you can try to fit and use a file, try to set it as close as possible for what you want. Don't forget to wear a mask, don't forget to wear eye protection. And if you have a better idea, please let me know. I will gladly listen to suggestions because when you're trying to work with something and something and you're doing this for a long time, you kind of get blinded for other ideas. So that's it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.